So, chain rule, we just differentiate as normal, bring the 4 down. The bracket becomes, in effect, our x, and take one away from the power. But we then have to times by the differential of this bracket, which will obviously be 6x in this case. Just tidy it up, 24x, and then the bracket cubed, and that is our dy by dx, when y was that bracket at the top. Second example then with trig, it works exactly the same way. So if y equals sine x to find dy by dx, differentiate as you would if it was just sine of x. What does sine differentiate to? So sine changes to cos, so this becomes cos 3x when I differentiate it. And what am I going to have to times it by? What's the differential of 3x? If I differentiated just 3, so I'm going to times this by 3. So then just to tidy that up, I can write 3 cos 3x and it is as simple as that third one with log same process so y equals that if I want to differentiate it I'm going to differentiate it as if it was just log of x and then I'll worry about the differential afterwards what does log go to one over. so this becomes 1 over 4x and then what am I going to have to times this by four. times it by 4 so then my final answer would be 4 over 4x and I can cancel that down to just get 1 over x because 4 divided by 4 is 4, is 1 even. Last one, follow the same pattern as we did for the previous one. So if that was y, dy by dx, bring down the power, 5 bracket 4x cubed plus 2x squared, take one away from the power. What am I times in by this time? 12x to the power of 2 and 4x. 12x squared plus 4x, so then again, I'm just going to simply write this as 5 times by 12x squared plus 4x times by 4x cubed plus 2x squared, all to the power of 4. No, because if you wanted to do foil, you'd have to expand that to the power of 4 first. You could, if you really wanted to, you could take it slightly one step further and just multiply the 5 in, so you get 60x squared plus 20x, and then that bracket to the power of 4. But you're probably better off leaving it on that line because that's actually further factorised. And that is the chain rule.